Iowa. We have a small acreage and um, yes to all of that management a, a small uh, biological yeah. system that nourishes us and we try to do our best to make uh, flourish. Um, my right now the and the, the human inhabitants of uh, our farm, are me and my husband Brian, who's in um, Kabul meeting with the Afghan peace volunteers this weekend. And they're also having a gathering to talk about war and the environment and what they need to be doing to heal their part of the planet, which has been devastating. Um, we are... Looking in our 60s, in looking to the future, thinking about how we can carry on in our little remote spot, um, and wishing that Catholic worker, young Catholic worker types or wannabes would check it out and see if that's the kind of life they want to live. Every winter for the last five or six years, we have been hosting <coughs> craft retreats in order to encourage the development of hand, handcrafts and skills that um, as part of Peter Morin's vision <coughs> for us to be on the land also included um, ways to make the things we need um, rather than buy them and to uh, always have sustaining labor to hand. So that is something we'd like to encourage. We have part of our economy is uh, a cottage industry of weaving, and I'm a weaver. And at the craft retreat, people have the opportunity to sample the experience of doing that, and that is part of our ongoing project, as well as goats and chickens, and garden and orchard, and uh, participating in the life of the rural people who are kind of living at the end of, uh, you know, the, suffering most of the consequences of our economy's priorities um, and not getting a whole lot of the benefits that urban people get in, uh, in culture and economic opportunity. So um, we live in a very poor area. Um, as the world judges economic development, but a lot of uh, a lot of people who have a lot of wisdom too. Um, that's it.